I booked a last minute yoga class. They're super, super expensive. I really like her classes. I think they're very challenging. You can wear them running errands or going to a cafe. We all want to look good physically. And so now I have a dilemma. Should I... Hello everyone, I'm in the biggest rush right now because I booked a last minute yoga class. It's Wednesday today. I just spent the whole day working from home. I had a meeting this morning and then I spent the rest of the afternoon editing a video for a client. And now I'm gonna meet up with my friend Kale. We're gonna have a yoga class together. I really need to get going because it's gonna take 30 minutes for me to commute to her place and then another 30 minutes for us to commute to the studio. It's almost 3.30 and the class is at 5. These yoga classes aren't cheap so you'd rather be early than late. Anyway, here's my outfit of the day. Another apartment update. I got this new mirror from Shopee. It's a whole body mirror and I think it looks so cute. I'm gonna put a link below but I got this yesterday and this is supposed to be like wood but then it's not wood at all. It's just plastic with like a beige coloring but nevertheless I think it's really cute. It has the round edges and it really shows me my whole body so now I can do my fit checks and OOTDs. The mirror that came with this apartment was this like janky old piece of furniture. It was just lying on a piece of plastic thread. I really didn't feel inspired by that mirror. So I'm really happy to have this one. Anyway, here's the outfit of the day. You saw me wear this exact same outfit in my previous vlog, but these are the only leggings that I have right now. I used to have the pink version of this, which was my favorite, but it got ruined after we got lost hiking one time with my family. Anyway, this is the fit. This top is from H&M. Leggings are from Shopee and shoes are from Anta. I'm just gonna wear a yoga jacket and a bag and we should be going. Let's go! Hello everyone, it's the weekend. I'm going grocery shopping right now, but a little review of how our yoga class went. It was really good, but I still have a bias towards Teacher Joe. If you go to Bliss Yoga Cebu's social media pages, they post their weekly schedules there and you can look for Teacher Joe's classes. I really like her classes. I think they're very challenging and it makes me feel sore the next day. And she has like so much attention to detail with her classes. Like she talks to the students, plays background music, and she even like personally massages the temples of her head at the end of the class. Just like the overall experience with her classes are supreme. But her Wednesday schedule just didn't fit with ours, so we chose another class and it was still pretty good. So now it is the weekend, it's Sunday, I'm going grocery shopping. But first, let me show you my outfit of the day with my new mirror. This is the outfit of the day. I have this Adidas bucket hat. I have this shirt from Uniqlo, this is the Arism crop tee, I think. This bag is also from Uniqlo. And if you look over here, I have a tote bag ready for my groceries later. And these shorts are from Levi's and then these sandals are from T. So yeah, that's the fit. Very minimal and simple. Also, yesterday when we went to the Uniqlo store, they actually give out these free catalogs. And it's a good coffee table book if you want to grab one. This is free. It's free. Anyway, I'm just gonna put it here for the time being. This is very cluttered at the moment. But I think I also forgot to tell you that I have my frames up right now. It's been sitting on this shoe cabinet for the longest time. But it's finally up and I have this mirror and this apartment is looking very, very cute. Anyway, let's go! home 
home now I just need to put away my groceries and then I'm gonna film a video after this I'm trying to take advantage of my weekends to do my little hobbies and passions and I'm also trying to be more consistent with my upload schedule on YouTube which right now is every Sunday at 6 p.m. I'm gonna film a video on how I edit my videos it's gonna be more of a tutorial video I'm excited but also dreading to film that video because I've never really done it before but I hope you like it the video should be up by now let me know if you enjoyed that video and leave a comment for any requests that you have in the future anyway now let's go unpack my groceries here's my little grocery haul for the week ahead first is a dozen eggs this is the first thing that I unpacked when I got home because I thought it got destroyed on my commute here but it's all good I got pandesal for quick snacks and like breakfast I know these aren't the healthiest but it's nice to have a cold drink after eating my meal sometimes so I have mango iced tea and apple iced tea I have Spanish paprika powder this is just a refill because I already have the bottle anyway I have two packets of Goya chips because I like to mix this with pancake and sometimes I also like to use it for my overnight oats so these really come in handy in here I have two kinds of pork which is bacon cut and guinea cut next is two cartons of milk next I have Worcestershire sauce I always make fun of pronouncing this word up to the point that I don't even know how to pronounce it anymore every time I refer to this I always say Worcestershire sauce I feel like at this point I train myself to forget how this is actually pronounced so I have Worcestershire sauce next is granola I like to mix this with yogurt and honey sometimes I eat it on top of my overnight oats and this is just a healthy snack to have next I have will go fried noodles I try to stay away from pancit canton and instant ramen just because it's not the healthiest but I'm not gonna lie there are some nights especially in the evenings when I'm up late editing a video or trying to finish a project I tend to look for midnight snacks and it's really expensive to order something from grab or food panda it's nice to have emergency snacks based from my experience so I just took one I'm just gonna try it for now we'll see if I like it especially since like with the work from home schedule you don't really know when you're gonna end work with work from home I feel like like you're just on call 24 7 so there are some unavoidable days where I stay up late to finish work and on those days I always try to look for snacks and next we have mushrooms and corn I think for dinner tonight I'm gonna make beef pepper rice except instead of beef I'm gonna have pork because pork is a lot more cheaper than beef and that's it that's my grocery haul for the week I'm just gonna fix these up and then I'm gonna film a video <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Saturday. It's a whole week later. The work week has ended and I was actually planning on filming this week But as you know, I work from home and so I'm mostly at my desk for most of the day Sometimes I go out just to head to the gym, but that's really it. There's nothing interesting that happened this week So now it's Saturday. The reason I want to continue going to the gym is obviously number one It's good for your health and number two. I'm not gonna lie It's not a big surprise that we all want to look good physically So I have all these reasons right but I feel like mentally my brain is just not keeping up the willpower and the discipline is like it's just like slowly trying to catch up I already have a gym plan that I want to do like a strategy I already have a membership the only thing left to do honestly is to try and go consistently three to four times a week so if you're watching this I encourage you as well whether you're in high school or college or if you're working I know it's a bit difficult to look for the time to exercise but if you actually choose to prioritize it you're gonna somehow find a time and a strategy to do it I always thought like working from home is gonna give me all the time and flexibility to work my way around Around going to the gym but even with the workload and setup that I have now I still find a hard time to go to the gym because obviously the priority in my head is that I have deadlines I need to meet these deadlines so that I'm good at my job I need to be good at my job so that I get paid I need to get paid so that I can afford this apartment and all of the things that I have in my life so work usually always comes first before the gym but I'm trying to find a balance to it right because I can't just keep working and sitting on my desk for most of the day and then after several years I'll start to develop these unhealthy habits and all these diseases that come with having an inactive lifestyle and obviously I want to try to avoid that as much as possible but yeah right now it's just looking for the balance to do it anyway speaking of the gym I got some gym outfits so I got these sets from Shopee this is what the product photos look like I'm gonna leave a link below if you want any of these sets but I got the black one and the blue one I put this in a hanger because I actually wore this yesterday and the reason why I got this acid wash design is because I'm not sure if you noticed this but after working out especially if you're wearing dark workout clothes and then your sweat starts to dry your workout clothes kind of look acidic like especially for me if I wear a black workout set it looks like I sprinkled salt all over my clothes and so that's why I got an acid wash design is because at least if I sweat in these it kind of looks natural because it already 
has this like acidic white texture on it so for a couple of years i'm gonna say like two plus years now i haven't been buying clothes on shopee anymore especially since i got a big girl job i just stopped buying on shopee because even though it's cheap it doesn't have the best quality and all of the clothes that i got on shopee a few years ago i already got rid of them because of how low quality they were not only was i wasting money but i was also wasting space in my wardrobe at the same time every time i went to the mall and i tried to look for branded workout clothes it's so expensive whether you go to h&m cotton on adidas zara nike all of these brands like one bra would cost you at least 1.5k or 2k and that's just a bra on top of that you still need to buy the shorts or the leggings which is another 2k so you're almost spending four or five k pesos on one workout set that's just one workout set and you need a couple of workout sets if you're gonna keep going to the gym consistently i tried to look for workout sets at a reasonable price but any store that i went to at the mall they're super super expensive so i went back to shopee and i tried to find a store that wasn't too cheap but it also wasn't too expensive and i came across this store so these products that i got they didn't have a lot of reviews so i took a gamble on these and let me say it did live up to my expectations so one set costs up to 790 pesos almost 800 pesos and that's for the whole set so for me i think it's a really good deal considering the quality of these clothes and the price point it meets me in the middle it's not that expensive and the quality is there so i'm going to show you what these look like on okay so starting with this blue set this is what it looks like it has this acid wash texture on here it also has this stitching from the shoulder down to the armpit and i feel like small details like this makes it look more expensive than it actually is and it also has this cinching on the sleeve and it's very thick like as you can see in here it's quite thick and it also cuts right at the rib cage so that's what the top looks like and then these are what the shorts look like it also has a cinched waistband it ends right at the thigh and i think it looks super cute the thing with active wear sets is that you could wear them to the gym but you could also wear them outside you can wear them running errands or going to a cafe i think it looks stylish and it's comfortable so i really like this workout set i think it looks super cute i also got this in the size medium so this is what the black version looks like it's the exact same product medium size but it's in black and again i think it looks super cute i actually plan on wearing these workout sets for my lower body days so if i'm going to be targeting my legs and my glutes i'm going to be wearing this set i want to highlight what muscle group i'm going to be working on so i'm going to wear this set during lower days and then i actually plan on buying another workout set for my upper body days like for my push and pull when i do upper body days i want to highlight the muscle group that i'm working on and so having a bra or a sleeveless is going to do just that but at the same time guys Guys, i need your help on this i found another set it has different color combos and so with that one i feel like you can mix and match with the color combos and so now i have a dilemma should i get set a which are the different color combos or should i get set b which is the acid wash design i think set a i can mix and match with my different outfits and it also looks quite girly so i think that's cute but then again set b addresses my first concern which is every time i work out whenever i start sweating it actually starts to salt my clothes and so having it in the acid wash material already makes it look like your clothes aren't that dirty because they're already designed that way which is exactly why i got this set but both sets are cute so that's why i have a dilemma about anyway let me know your thoughts and your votes comment set a for the color combo set or set b for the acid wash set anyway that's my little gym haul i'm gonna leave a link below if you want any of these sets i think they're super cute and super affordable if you've been on the hunt for workout sets i highly recommend that you check that shop i am not sponsored by that shop so this is my honest opinion go get yourself these sets Hello everybody, it is Monday, your girl has work. I have a meeting in about 10 minutes and I look very haggard. My skin isn't doing so well. Anyway, for my meeting today, I have a weekly catch up with one of my clients. We're just gonna touch base on the videos that we're working on for the week ahead or the month ahead. So let's catch up after. No, no, this weekend, it wasn't that crazy. It was literally just kind of people. I feel like we should push it back maybe two working on episode one and then by Wednesday, we'll see you on Wednesday. Meeting over. So after that call, I realized that I won't have a video to work on until Wednesday. So I have today to finish my own video. As you know, or you may not know, I am working two jobs. They're both online based. Even if I just work from home, they consume my entire day. So usually in the evenings or when I have my free time, I kind of have a little bit of a struggle to do my own things like going to the gym or working on my own videos. So today, tonight, I have the rest of the evening to finish working on this vlog.
Hey guys, I just took a shower to unwind for the night. I had chicken soup for dinner and then I headed out for a quick coffee run. Now I'm back, I had a quick shower and I'm gonna do my skincare to unwind for the night. I usually like to put this on. I got this as a freebie. I'm not sure from where actually, but I think it's really cute. Let me walk you through the products I use and how I ended up using these. First is petroleum jelly. I like to use this after I brush my teeth. As a kid, I used to have really dry chapped lips and I used to peel them until they bled because I don't know I didn't I guess I had a lot of time in my hands but now that I'm older I really do not want to have chapped lips number one it hurts and number two it doesn't look that good so I like to keep my lips hydrated so while I'm in the shower I like to use my facial cleanser which right now is this Lux Organics ultra light glow cleanser you can buy these at most Watson stores and most of their products are usually around 200 to 300 pesos so I think they're very affordable and they have really good quality as well my bias in terms of facial cleansers is their blue one which is the acne derm one because as you can see i am an acne prone girly but right now i'm using this just as a little experiment once this is done i think i'm gonna transition back to the acne derm cleanser to be honest if you're on a budget you can just buy this as your one and only skincare product especially since moving out i've kind of cut costs on some of the things that i don't think are too important previously i used to buy the whole skincare set but now i really only use two products which is the cleanser and then i have the oxycure power mud which is basically a spot treatment for most pimples all done that's my little skincare routine a cleanser and a spot treatment. Those are the only really two things you need. You don't have to be influenced by all of these like 10, 12 skincare steps and everything like that. If it's not within your budget or your lifestyle, you can really just live by washing your face. I think that's the most basic step that you can do is just wash your face. All the rest, I feel like you don't really need to do them unless you have the luxury to, then go ahead. My biggest picks are Lux Organics and Oxycure. Those are the two brands that I think are good quality and are affordable. Okay guys, it's time for me to head to bed now. I'm in my bedroom. It's very plain looking. I changed the sheets and I finally have a ceiling fan. I don't know if you remember it in one of my previous vlogs, but in the mornings whenever it got too hot, I would drag a piece of cardboard in my living room and then I would just sleep there for the rest of the morning until I woke up because this room is so hot. I finally, finally have a ceiling fan. Do you see that? I don't have to sleep in the heat anymore. But thanks for coming along this journey with me. I haven't been very consistent with filming videos. I apologize for not uploading these past two weeks. I really need to work on that. Also, let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. The next video that I'm planning to film is how I edit my videos. My favorite creators at the moment are actually work from home girlies. So I like watching women who have work from home jobs. They try to exercise consistently and they have like these little passion projects that they do on the side. Currently, my favorite creators to watch are Rachel Vin and Jenna Hong. So those are the kind of niches and creators that I enjoy watching at the moment. So I feel like that content is something that I'm also trying to make. But again, let me know if there's something else that you want to see from me. If you reach this far in the video, comment down below the tulip emoji because I feel like tulips just represent that girl vibe. That's the kind of lifestyle that we've been trying to live in this video. That's the kind of energy that we're trying to exude. Anyway, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!